This is how I would use the energies of this new moon in Pisces. Astronomically, the new moon happens when the sun, the moon, and the earth are in alignment, and the moon is in between the sun and the earth. So the shadow side of the moon is facing earth, and that's a very important thing to remember in a new moon. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. It's a mutable water sign, and it's a house where we release, where we let go. It's the house of dreams, the house of the unknown, the liminal spaces. At the time of this new moon, there are three major conjunctions happening here. We have Venus, Mars, and Pluto all conjunct in the sign of Capricorn, and they are forming a trine to the North Node in Taurus. So what this tells me is that new alliances are going to be made, new allies, new relationships, or transformation of relationships of some kind. Then we have Mercury and Saturn in Aquarius, and this to me talks about having sober conversations, real conversations, no sugarcoating. Aquarius is a little bit emotionally detached, but it gets to the truth. Then we have the Moon, the Sun, and Jupiter all together there in Pisces, and the ruler of this new moon is Jupiter. This is where we're going to set our intentions, something that's creative, creating new solutions based on compassion and love. Now, when I look at this chart, I look at building new worlds, building something different that we haven't seen before. When I feel into the energy of this chart too, because ultimately this is like a mandala, it's like sacred geometry, it's neutral, it's how you use the energy that really matters. There are opportunities here if you choose to see it that way. So another astrologer looking at the same exact chart might have the perspective of doom and gloom, like we're all fucked in some way. My chart is ruled by Jupiter, so I tend to lean on optimism. We have this cluster of Capricorn and Aquarius energies that are ruled by Saturn. So in one area of your life, you have contraction, things are being restructured, things are not necessarily growing. And then you have this other area of your life that is Pisces, Jupiterian, full of hope and optimism and something that's growing. And I like to think of the mycelium network where underneath the surface, everything feeds into each other. For example, you could be witnessing and observing what's going on at a global level. It's not just happening in Europe. And you might feel fear, which is valid, and you might be feeling some doom and gloom. I, along with a lot of people I know, see the same events, but see it in the lens of revolution and resistance to imperialism and colonialism. People are fighting back for their sovereignty. On this new moon in Pisces, we can set the intention for creating a world based on our shared values.